Pisces and welcome. We're going to be doing your reading. Um, so Pisces, please remember that timing is fluid when it comes to tarot. And I do not want to give you dates and times of situations when and if they happen because it may not resonate with everyone and that also depends on your sun moon rising and venus okay and which planet is very strong right now in your transition chart so i do suggest checking out your birth chart to see what reading will resonate with you okay and again um as a tarot reader i do pick up on collectives okay i can pick up on a person's energy i may even pick up on some pisces energy okay so if it does not resonate please refer to your birth chart okay to see where you are right now and what planet is affecting you the most i highly recommend using astro matrix i use the app myself and it's very clear and easy to understand okay so let's get your overall energy cards and see what's going on for you guys right now pisces Okay, we have positive movement forward, which is good. Oh, we have the heart chakra. So doing what your heart desires right now is so, so important. Keeping your heart open to opportunities to love, receive and bring love, okay? I feel like some of you guys could be going on a journey, could be traveling. You could be choosing where to go. A lot of green energy here, which is definitely representing heart chakra, okay? All right, so let's go straight in with your tarot. Shuffle for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Send me rising or Venus signs, please. Messages for Pisces. I'm going to go into your recent past, your present, your future. We will then go and clarify, okay? We'll clarify the clarifiers, okay, if needed. So in the recent past, we have the Six of Wands. Nice. Let's see what we have for the recent past more. We also have the Five of Wands. What about the current situation? What do Pisces need to know for the current situation? We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the princess of coins in reverse i don't like to read reversals but i will take it we have the king of cups that's you right there could be another person that you're dealing with who has water in their chart let's see what the near future is bringing for you guys we have the emperor We have the Hierophant. Oh, big, big shifts happening in the near future for you guys. We have the Seven of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Two of Cups. Oof. You're definitely stuck in your mindset about something here. Conflicted by a partnership or something that you are unclear about at this time. Okay, so this positive movement that you are having is I feel like this is your recent past. Your positive movement is in your recent past. I feel like your emotions are very conflicted right now in regards to making a decision. Okay. So, let's see what's going on for you guys. Here we're going to clarify because, like I said, there was positive movement. Things looked like they were going in the right direction for you. You felt very free. You felt very happy, okay? You felt very successful, okay? Um, it's like you knew something, before it even happened, it's like you knew something was coming for you. An opportunity perhaps came for you, okay? um but then it kind of maybe led to some sort of disagreement where you were unable to express yourself or maybe you're still unable to express yourself okay in the recent past so we are going to see what this is about a lot of you guys this could be something to do with work right now okay or partnerships and collaboration 
okay maybe something's not working out for you guys because we do have only one reversal card here for you guys which is not too bad okay let's see what this six of wands is not all reversals are bad okay so we have the two oh, we have two okay so we have the nine of cups and we have the ten of pentacles so it looks like something in regards to work had gone really really well okay it was um I feel like for some of you guys, it could be self-employed or it could be a business here, yeah? a business opportunity that took off very, very well for you guys. Especially with that Nine of Cups, it brought emotional fulfillment. You felt like there was positive movement forward in terms of your finances, your savings, your investments, okay? So let's see what happened here then with the Five of Wands. I feel like not all of you have agreed or been on the same page with whoever you're dealing with. Five of Wands, clarified by the Five of Wands. Okay. So like I said, we need to clarify the clarifier. So what is this five of wands? We have two cards. We have the three of cups and we have the six of pentacles. So there has been perhaps some disagreements here, okay? And not all of you have been on the same page. This could be your friends or business partners here, okay? So there is balance here. There is a chance to be on the same page. It's not very difficult from what I'm looking at. But it does seem that some people are just deliberately trying to provoke a situation here. We will check what this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, the King of Swords. I feel like Spirit is just saying you need to be very affirmative, very authoritative, okay, and communicate very clearly what it is, whether it's rules, whether it's decisions, whether it is something that has to be written down, it needs to be made very clear right now. Let's see what this three of coins is. We have the page of cups, okay, so an offer has been made. In the current situation, an offer is being made perhaps an offer of partnership, somebody new stepping in to collaborate, okay? This person's bringing a lot of ideas to the table, okay? Those ideas can definitely be um, synced, is what I'm getting. Definitely sync those ideas because I feel like two ideas can be implemented together to create something very, very beautiful, okay? I think this is more about collaboration coming into balance, okay, and removing people if they decide they don't want to follow those rules, they don't want to follow those set boundaries that you've put, okay. Let's see what this Princess of Pentacles is, because I feel like this could just be somebody here who needs to, um, it is causing a little bit of disorder, okay. So we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, it feels like there's just somebody here is causing a little bit of disorder. Maybe they are just more of somebody who just prefers to be a little bit careless in their work or in money, finance, financial matters. Seven of Swords, yeah. Somebody who's a little bit careless, okay? Uh, somebody who doesn't always do as they are told it could be somebody that you are training somebody who is in the workspace who's working with you who's perhaps new to this business um or it could just be somebody here who has that kind of mentality and that attitude of not being very serious when they needed to be okay let's see what this thing of cups is because this is your energy here Eight of Pentacles, again, a lot of work coming in, a lot of saving, a lot of investments coming in. So a lot of this has a lot to do with work right now, with the Two of Wands and the Fool, okay? So saving up, okay, and knowing where to put your investments, where and when to use your financial gains, okay? It's going to be a decision that is coming up for a lot of you guys, and it's, it's, it's kind of trying to... I feel like the decision you're trying to make here is about how you are going to be more free financially, okay, looking towards the future, but without making any sudden moves or steps or trusting certain people who will end up using your finance stability, okay? And again, I feel like it's just 
a very minor minor little issue um, and it could just be to do with this princess of pentacles okay which is very young energy here as far as emperor is you're dealing a lot with people who are very business orientated some people who are very keen learners okay you could be somebody here who's learning new things all the time in this business okay or in your workplace we have the devil energy here okay so you can be dealing with a person okay who is very business minded very structured but at times can be very over dominating and very controlling and very overpowering okay that's what this is yeah seven of wands you could be feeling very frustrated right now with this person or this person could just be very frustrated and is feeling like they are needing to have control or take back control in a situation here and so that makes you want to put your guard up with this person okay the Knight of Flowers, okay, there could be some kind of emotional manipulation here as well come into play. Maybe this person really um, likes to manipulate situations or gaslight situations here. This could be quite unhealthy, especially when it comes to a workplace. If this is a person of love interest, and love is not really coming in very strong here right now for you guys, Pisces, but if this is a love interest, I feel like you need to just kind of take a step back be careful okay with this person especially if you work with this love interest or a partnership of some sort because this person may try to sabotage your financial situation i really am getting finances here very big for you guys okay let's see what this hierophant is i'm going to clarify it again tell what this hierophant is please spirit what is this I think you know what you need to do with the nine of pentacles you're very independent okay you're a very learner um you are somebody who makes decisions based off your intuition and i feel like whatever you're learning right now is going to be very beneficial for you because a person who you are learning from is somebody who already has a lot a lot of experience in their life okay We have the Ace of Pentacles. Something big is definitely coming in. And this person who you are learning from as a mentor is bringing in a huge opportunity. So it could just be that, you know, you are learning right now from this mentor and then this mentor then recommends you to somebody else and a business that has a bigger opportunity or a business that's collabing with you, you know. Let's see what the Seven of Swords is because this has come out twice and it came out for the Page of Pentacles Tower. Something is changing. So this could be a work situation that's changing, a better opportunity. Okay, you may feel a little bit. You may feel a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. Um, it could be a partnership here, okay, that's breaking down because you do have the five eight of ones in reverse, okay which means that it's a no-go it's an, it's a no it means don't move forward with this partnership okay um you also have the six of cups in reverse i feel like whatever this is it's kind of like feeling stagnated unable to move okay not receiving the communication that you desire okay or perhaps there's a block in a a different avenue in your work okay I'm, I'm seeing the word resigning, okay? So some of you guys could be resigning around this time, okay? To go move towards a new opportunity. The Six of Cups usually represents soulmate energy. It usually represents, you know, childhood memories. It usually represents past, but it also means, you know, just enjoying spending quality time and reminiscing. Um, in this case, I feel like this is kind of saying you're no longer stuck in that situation, okay you are moving forward all right and you're leaving this past uh past connections behind to move towards some new connections okay there is huge changes coming here huge changes you have the four of cups 
contemplating about it a little bit here okay and thinking about whether this will be a good move a good investment things are changing with the wheel of fortune okay and with the justice card right below it it usually means that things possibly will work in whose ever favor the universe feels like it should go to okay <clears throat> whether that's you or the situation or a person okay so let's see what else we have here. We're going to clarify a little bit deeper. Okay. Four for Pisces. Right. So I want to know what this opportunity was in the recent past. What's this opportunity in the recent past that helped Pisces to move forward and become successful? Okay. So I do feel here that some of you guys were feeling very unappreciated, okay, and um, in a probably a job that you were stuck in, okay, for a lot of you guys, this could be a relationship, I'm not picking that up. The energy I'm picking up is work. So then a new opportunity presented itself. It lifted you from a situation where you felt like you couldn't get out. The opportunity was a growth opportunity okay so it felt like a lot of you guys could actually grow in this um in this environment okay i don't know why i'm i'm hearing repetitively too good to be true okay so maybe there was a situation that we said past i looked too good to be true okay and that is probably where the five of ones has come in so what is this oh we have space. I feel like there was it was very chaotic, okay, in the space that you were in, okay? So whatever working space this is, it was very chaotic. You needed your space. You were not getting your space. You were not getting your time. It's like there was hustle. There was bustle. There was a lot of chaos. And it could be as well that a lot of people had just kept coming towards you, asking you all the time for, you know, favors, doing jobs, and you couldn't complete your own projects. Okay, it was unfulfilling, tiring, satisfying. I'm hearing that the job was good, but the environment was not. Okay, <laughs> let's see what this temperance is with the three of pentacles. Responsibilities, there it is. A lot of responsibilities, okay? You have a lot of responsibilities, okay? So it's time now for you to share those responsibilities out, collaborate, bring them together because that is the way it's going to work in the current situation. And for some of you guys, this could be happening already, okay? Um, and that is what the temperance is signifying. There needs to be a balance, okay? You cannot do everybody's hard work. You need to throw responsibilities in different avenues okay um and that is what i'm seeing but it's not about that person is doing their own thing you're doing your own thing no it's about coming together to come up with the most extraordinary idea okay because the temperance is about mixing the two together all right and finding that harmony that balance let's see what the seven of swords is here with the page of pentacles in reverse do we have a flip no commitment okay so somebody here i feel has not been very committed to the job and you may have had to let them go exactly feeling overwhelmed so you maybe felt very stressed okay and very fed up with a certain person here could be younger than you could be an earth sign as well and it feels like this person literally was not committed to working committed to doing and taking the responsibility okay and it may have been a very difficult decision to make to let this person go and maybe that is something you're thinking about doing or maybe it's not your position but you're unsure of what to do let's see what this is with the fall and the two of ones two of ones is coming out for a lot of water signs secrets i feel like you are planning a preparing to make a move forward in terms of higher investments here okay um and you're keeping this very much to yourself right now okay which i i do feel is a great suggestion let's see what this emperor card is because it's emperor with the devil mm unworthy okay so some of you guys could be being treated as you are 
not being valued for the amount of effort that you put into work this person may be undermining you and undervaluing you okay just know you are a better person okay you are a better person you bring a lot of value okay wherever you go pisces um i just feel like this person gaslights or takes advantage of what you give which undermines you let's see what the hyphen is with the ace of pentacles neglected i failed to give you what you want okay so i feel like a lot of you guys right now i'm gonna get one more out like whatever you're learning you're kind of shedding um in order to learn something new maybe you don't feel valued again holding back i feel like there is whatever you're learning you are keeping to yourself and i feel like if you are finding a new job Whatever you're learning now is going to be valuable in the next job that you are looking for. And, and hence why you're keeping this a lot to yourself. Let's see what this tower is with the uh, Seven of Swords. Soul contract. I feel like you are finding a new contract here, okay? You are finding a new job. Um, you've obviously have come to the realization that where you were was being undermined and undervalued and you're kind of taking those lessons with you and you are moving to a new place and you you're kind of leaving this this job behind okay is what i'm kind of getting i feel like you're still searching for a new job but you will get it because there will be a company that will value you um the effort you put in with the seven of swords i'm really getting it's almost like not handing in your resignation to the last minute when you found a job but also i'm feeling like you're taking whatever you've learned from this and leaving whatever you feel is unvaluable and moving you know that seven of swords is not about somebody betraying you even though that may be the case but i feel like this is more of your energy compared to the previous energy that we saw you're finding a place where you have soul ties and where you can fit in very well with other people you have daydreaming <laughs> yeah you could be really right now manifesting for a job that you have been longing to do which is really really good just want something here i, I want to know what this holding back is i feel like it's the same thing that i've been saying um strength card yeah you you're holding you're holding this valuable information back to again just use this as a life lesson everything that you've learned and taking that with you and moving into a new situation a new job a new opportunity okay what is the advice here for pisces what is the advice oh my god Right, we have emotional loss. A lot of you guys are really upset about losing this job just based off the environment um, or because this place is just not valuing what you bring to the table. What's the advice? You have partnerships and you have alliance. And there's our wisdom card, which is what I was talking about, Pisces, okay? You've gained a lot of wisdom from this, okay? Something was too good to be true. But you've gained a lot of wisdom from this and now you're taking it to something new, which is the partnership and alliance, okay? So there is new partnerships forming. There's new alliances, okay? And you are taking that experience and moving towards something very, very opportunistful. Okay, I don't even think that's the word. <laughs> but a new opportunity, okay? All right, so let's see what we got for the last class for your advice or 
spiritual messages. I mean, if you are feeling undemanded and undervalued, and you know, I'd say it's for the best to move to a place where you are feeling valued, you know, um, because it's just going to make you feel less confident and a lack of self-esteem the longer you stay in an environment like that. And if you know what your worth is, you know that you deserve a lot better. Okay. It's always okay to ask for guidance when the way is unclear. So right now, Spirit wants you to know that you are being guided. All you have to do is ask. Okay, let's get one more for you guys. That card's been coming out for a lot. <laughs> okay, heal the past and fix tomorrow. So that is what it's saying about the life lessons. Okay, the life lessons that you are taking from this job and moving into the new a new environment where your heart can be more open look how many greens we have here we have so many greens we have a heart chakra we have the life lessons okay we have the choices we have the emotional loss we have like four green cards here okay so i feel like spirit is really emphasizing on you guys to open your heart chakra work on your emotions okay because tomorrow is gonna fix itself for you okay when you fix what it is that you really want and i feel like this job where you were or you currently are at is not making you feel the best version of yourself okay so don't undermine yourself pisces okay you have a lot to give okay you just need to find the right the right environment for yourself okay and i feel like you are going to be getting that okay so love and like to you guys, Pisces, don't forget to smash a like, share and of course subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.